Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech, and today we are checking the Kingsons backpack. Currently you probably remember that I have a Peak Design backpack, the everyday backpack 20 liter. I really love it, it's awesome and as you can see it's a little bit dirty now. I use it every day for pretty much everything, when I go to work, when I go to photo shoots or anything. It fits everything including the new Mavic Air 2, it's awesome, but it has some downsides. Now first of all for an everyday backpack, it actually doesn't have that much of storage. And if you have some groceries or anything like that, it's kind of sometimes annoying. And that's one thing that I didn't like from the beginning. It lacks of more expansion, I mean this thing expands a little, but not that much and it won't help you for example if you buy a pack of shoes so there is no way that you can put shoes here at least not a normal size maybe for kids or something so that was always annoying for me you know what let me just show you what's happening here so uh, let me open the side here that's pretty much now packed for my daily usage and as you can see I have some storage here Usually I put here lunch or something like that and uh, maybe sometimes a small sweater if uh, it's cold. Nothing else fits here, pretty much. And we have here another place and as you can see my headphones take a huge part of it. And it can expand a little but again not too much. And that's pretty much it. Now another downside of this backpack is it's pretty heavy. By its own it weights around 2 kilograms or so. A little bit less but still. That's a lot. It's empty and it weights like that. Imagine what happens when I take all my things for photography, my camera, my lenses, the drone and everything. That's just a lot. That's where comes this thing. This is the Kinson's backpack. This thing weights about 0.94 kilograms. Honestly, if the Peak Design is 20 liters, but it's actually less because when it's fully closed and not expanded, it's less. I think it's around 12 liters. This one is 19 liters. It's not expendable, it's as is, but it has some nifty tricks in it. And first of all, by any means, I'm not replacing this fin with a big design. This one is actually not mine. My friend gave it to me for a review, and it's an awesome backpack, but it's not going to replace the big design backpack. For some things, for example for everyday use, this is an awesome backpack and that's why I told you about the groceries and everything and you'll see in a moment. But for camera usage, maybe if you put here a camera cube or something, it might be nice to hold the gear here, but as it is, it's not. Don't use it for camera gear or stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend that. First of all, let's open it. And again, uh, as you can see I don't have much place here, so I'm sorry if something gets out of the camera a little, but you know what, we'll open it and we'll see. So I open it just a little bit so you can see, it's currently empty, but if you look closely, and I'll try to show you, it has a lot of space here, you can put pretty much any groceries, any shoes, I think you could put here at least two or three pairs with no issue, even with their box if they are new for example, you can do that. Now, uh, it can hold a laptop, and if we look for example on the straps, the straps are pretty comfortable, they are nice, uh, the design is cool here, you have that thing here that will keep your back cool, or at least a little bit cooler. It's kind of okay, I mean, it's nothing too ergonomic or something, or too special, like we have a big design that here the straps are swiveling or something, but it's nice, it works, it does the work. It has here a handle, the handle is pretty good and it's uh, really secure here, it feels really nice. It doesn't look too expensive if you look into the quality, but it's not that cheap. And actually looking now at the AliExpress link, it costs around 50 US dollars and the Peak Design backpack, well, around 300 US dollars or something like that, so you get the idea. Let's look at the sides. At the sides we have pockets for a bottle or for a tripod or something like that. And they're just like that. So there is no magnet or something. This is the only thing pretty much that holds it in place. 
It can expand a little bit, you can put here a nice bottle or something. Uh, not too much, I think the big design ones expand a little bit more. And as you can see, it doesn't fully close, so keep that in mind. And let me go to the other side for a moment, because you have here another one like this, but you have also this. And this thing opens, and here you have a USB-A that goes inside your backpack from the other side, and you'll see in a moment. And you can easily connect a power bank there or something, and charge your phone on the go or other stuff like, for example, a GoPro or something. That would be very useful for me, actually. That's something with big design is lax of, but I still managed to actually drop a cable from one of the sides and use it as well. So that's not too important for me, though that's a great feature. Let's go ahead and now open it fully. Now, what I mean fully? Yeah, you can actually open it fully. And it's very important, and you'll see in a moment why. And as you can see, it unfolds, and actually you can fold it totally, something like that. Obviously it's not fully flat, but come on, you could put it inside your luggage if you're going abroad and you don't want to have your backpack on you, but you need a backpack there. That's an awesome thing to do. That won't take too much space in your luggage, you can fit it really easy. That's really, really nice. Now again, that weights almost nothing, I mean less than one kilogram, so that's kind of nice. And we have another pocket here on the outside, and it's kind of small, it's not too big, but you can put here sunglasses. And what really annoys me, the opening here is smaller than the pocket itself. And when you put here fins, it tends to fall inside, I mean it tries to fall inside, so if you open a little bit the top, it will try to fold inside, that's kind of annoying, nothing too bad or something, but it's something worth mentioning. Let's first talk about the outside, about the external thing here. So, we have here a mesh pocket, that's pretty much the only pocket that we can see here. And it's really nice, you can put here some cables, chargers, something like that, uh, really nice, really convenient. Things will fit here really easy, so that's nice. And now let's go a little bit to the main compartment. Now, if we look in the main compartment here, for example, we'll see another mesh pocket. And that one is a little stretchy. So that's kind of nice. You can put here something a little bit bigger. For example, you can put here the power bank and here's the cable on the inside. And it's USB-A here as well. So keep that in mind. But uh, it's very nice to put here a power bank or something and it will charge whatever you connect on the outside. On the other side, if we look here, we have another same mesh pocket and nothing else here. Now on the back, if we look, we have here two compartments that they are opening by this thing. It's kind of nice, but it's really loose. I mean, it won't protect fully the gear that you have inside or something. So let's move it away. We have, uh, as it says here, an 11 inch tablet will fit here probably, and a 15.6 laptop will fit in the bigger one. And the bigger one here has some mesh that will expand a little bit. That's kind of nice. And if you look closely here at the bottom, it has some area from the bottom. So if, for example, your bag falls, or if you put it with all your force on the floor or something, it will protect a little bit your laptop. So that's always nice, but it's not something too much. So don't expect it to fully protect your laptop, obviously. But that's a nice thing to have. If we look at the zippers, let's close it for a moment. And if we look closely at the zippers, let me try to show you. They don't seem to be water resistant or something. I mean, it probably will protect you a little bit, but not too much. The material itself is actually water resistant somewhat. Now, it doesn't mean that you should uh, submerge it into water or something, obviously, but a small rain, it should do just fine. I didn't try that because it's not the time for rain here, thankfully, but that's what it is. Overall, this backpack is an amazing backpack for an everyday use. And if you know that you are going out 
without almost anything, but you need to put some groceries or you need to collect some stuff on the way or something like that. That's an awesome backpack. You can always put here stuff and load it fully. And I think uh, if we were talking about a few days trip and you don't need your camera gear, for example, you could uh, use it, I guess, for two or three days without an issue, I guess. Again, it depends on how you pack and you'd still have a place for your laptop, for example. So if it's a work trip for just a few days and you don't want to bring any luggage, that's a good thing. Now, honestly, uh, one of the downsides in this backpack that I saw immediately that I usually uh, want in a backpack, though I don't always use it, is a password for the luggage. And it lacks one, but it does have one. What do I mean? So if we we'll look at the back, there's nothing here that suggests that you can use it as a pass-through on your luggage. But if you go on the website on AliExpress, you'll see that they actually use the handle as the pass-through for your luggage. And honestly, I think it will work on some luggage, but I'm not really sure that it will be comfortable enough. I didn't try that one. It does seem to be quite a good idea, but again, that's not something I tried. I just saw it on the website. I wouldn't call it a perfect solution for that. As you can see, I moved both of the zippers here. And one of the things that I really like about the Peak Design and every camera back is that you have an opening on the side that you can pretty much open and extract your gear, your camera, whenever you need, lenses or something. And you can pretty much do that from, for example, the top and you can reach inside. So you can see this one is not flexible and I'm not really sure that you want to open it fully like that. Though again, as you can see, you can. And probably if you'd put here some camera gear cube or something, it would work, but it's not designed for that. So I wouldn't say that it's a perfect solution for me, though as you can see, it can do that as well and it will do it just fine. So for a 50 bucks backpack, it's quite a good backpack and it can be very useful, even for some photography shoots as well, I guess. Though again, I wouldn't recommend that. For your daily usage, that's actually a quite well-designed backpack. It has a lot of features, though it's really empty and you can put a lot of stuff inside when you need, so that's quite a good thing. So this backpack might not be for everyone, but in some cases it would be awesome and you should probably consider that as well when you search for your next backpack. Now, for the price of it, you might want to take a Peak Design backpack, for example, or something like that. I'm not saying that Peak Design is the best, though it's really good and I love it. And you could take another one, like this one. Thank you for watching this Demos Tech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.